I plotted a challenging three day route in the Lake District to help me reconnect with nature and to push my body over some of the highest mountains in the UK. The weather was unforgiving at times but it did little to dampen my spirits as I soaked in the glorious scenery and let Mother Nature do as she's always done. Join me as I take on some of the highest peaks the UK has to offer all the while making time to appreciate the natural beauty and remote wilderness of the English Lake District. Leave it nice and tidy. Away we go, bang on eight o'clock. Slept well, but the tent, mate. Oh, what's this boggy mare's a thing? I'll go around. I'll go around, I don't mind getting wet foot, but it's a bit early, a bit early for Baza wet foot. It's the same story, innit? I had it in winter, but it was windy as well, so at condensation, the wind was knocking the condensation off and it was like it was raining in the tent. That wasn't as bad, I mean, it wasn't dripping on me, but, you know, when you, there was just all lots of it. And where your sleeping bag touches the tent, that gets wet. When you sit up, it just gets on your head. And, <laughs> and now my tent's all wet in the bag. And I slept with the door open as well. So, what more can I do? I've had condensation when I've just been bivy camping and just used a tarp above me. If there's no wind, and last night there wasn't any wind, then I guess it's just, Science in it, you're just going to get condensation and you have to deal with it. Uh, bring a little, you know, bring a little sponge or a cloth to wipe it off with and just bat on. No danger. Hey, mate, oh. good looking fella. Right, off up that way. Legs feel all right. I must have done about, I don't know. I only did about 13 miles yesterday, but I did set off at about one o'clock. The thing is, is you can put a shift in out here, but and, and not done, not have done as many miles as you think, because you're climbing other things like this. So you put a lot of work in for not a lot of distance. So you have to lower your expectations when it comes to distance. You know, like on, for example, the South Downs Way, because it's down south, it's pretty flat. There's no really to go out so you can bust out 30 miles in a day and just do big numbers because it's flat as a witch's toot but you can't up here it's a different ball game steak pass esk house last time me and fern took on steak pass this time it's Esk House up and over this beast. This is the first real leg pumper of the day. And this gets me up onto the tops. And then we stay on the tops and we head over towards Scarfell Pike and down, round, up over Great Gable, Honister. There's a lot of big elevations today. Um, and I don't know, I don't know how, much, how much I'll get done. I have no idea. I'm a bit dehydrated. I've not been smashing as much water as I should because uh, I foolishly, I bought the two litres of sparkling water and I've been decanting it into my little water and shaking it and taking the lid off just to try and take edge off of the uh, fizz. But it's hard to quaff it. Oh, so <laughs> Meh, fizzy water. No sign of rain. There's a few threatening clouds. And it is forecast for lightning and all sorts of weather conditions today and tomorrow. But so far, so good. So 
still not quite there yet, but <laughs> the views are amazing. Look at that. Down the valley there. There's a bit of a mist in the air. It's threatening to rain, but it's holding off. It's drizzling a little bit, but <sighs> But the temperature's definitely dropping. It's taken me about an hour to get up here from campsite and I'm looking for some water to dip in man I'm, it's, it was muggy down there the air's getting a bit cooler up here and it's a bit more refreshing but down there I was thinking I'll just jump in a puddle I don't care definitely want to freshen up though come on it's mad I can, I can see the rain bouncing on the tarn but it's not on me the wind's blowing this way <laughs> like it's raining there but not here <laughs> crazy times guys crazy times stick around for more obvious things like that when i explain to you how it's sunny in one on one side of the country and not at the other how come it's not night time everywhere the rains have come it did just bat it down <laughs> I got my jacket on that thankfully isn't waterproof but it's uh, it's keeping wind chill off me and these clouds look pretty ominous mate there's reports of like thunder and lightning and if that's the case if it's lightning I'm going to start heading down just off the peaks because it ain't worth getting zapped but we'll see, it's taking a turn for worse anyway. <laughs> ah. Woo. I was going to go for a swim in Angle Town, but it's cold now. Temperature's dropped right off since I've got up here. Right, I'm going to find a little bit of rock to sit up against and have some of my fizzy water and a bit of a rest. Rest the legs and then uh, we'll head on up that monster over there, look. Ah. So you think you've climbed all the way up. And then all the big boys are up there. He's bouncing, bouncing down now. But it's beautiful, it's such a lovely sound. I'm cold, <laughs> this thing ain't waterproof. I'm woefully underprepared for it rain. Well, by, by that I mean I just don't have my waterproof jacket. Right, it is lovely. Right, I'll show you. Come, come on. It's coming for me. I'm about to be engulfed. Woo! <laughs> So, I was soaking wet. Quite chilly and now, just as we're heading up to the highest part of the Lake District, Scarfell. Ah, it's taking it out of me, I tell you. It's taking it out of me. Cold and wet and all tents wet as well. I think it's forecast to clear up around five or six. So I'll see what state of play is there, how cold and wet I am, <laughs> and where I am. And if the sun comes out, which I doubt it will, but if it does, I'll just wild camp and hopefully dry all my stuff in the sun. <laughs> but, sod's law, innit? I was hoping to get some quality views once I'd got to the top at Big Boy. And it's this, a whiteout. bit of respite in this shelter from the wind I do have like a thin merino wool layer that if it if I get too cold I'll bang that on because merino wool keeps you warm even when it's wet in fact I might do that because it's chilly in it it is chilly should we see if oh. 
the nicer one. This is sh people just leave shit tickets everywhere. Scruffy, scruffy people. <laughs> you can't see, you can just make it out in the fog. We're going all the way up there. It's just been like it's a it's a it's a fair old slog. But I'm gonna get my merino wool layer on just to be, have a bit of respite from this wind and cold. Uh, take five minutes, see if it blows over, and then head further up. Oh, it's cleared up a bit. I've got me uh, merino wool layer on, which is just taking edge off that to the coldness. <laughs> and it's cleared up a bit. And I'm heading up over here and we'll go top out on Scarfell and hopefully the clouds stay off so we can get the views from on top of there I just bumped into a couple and there must be in England like on holiday just wearing just the maddest stuff no bags or anything like that asking me back there where Scarfell Pike was <laughs> I was like have you not got a map? And they're like, no, no, we were just uh, just sort of asking people. I thought, that's, that's risky business. On a day like today, when it just, it can, it can instantly, you know, within seconds, it can just be white out. It's forecast thunder, lightning, heavy rains throughout the day. And they're just wandering around asking hoping that they'll find someone because not many people out today because of weather hoping they'll just find people to ask where to go <laughs> best of luck I said that it's that way follow me if you want but I don't think they can keep up so I think they'll be all right I've given them I've shown them map and told them where to go <laughs> I hope they're all right anyway all oh, right, here's a bit of a leg pumper. Just making my way for all these stones. Thankfully, uh, people have made cairns leading the way through. And over there, in the distance, is the summit of Scarfell. Still a way to go Oof. through this labyrinth of stones. Stopping. I'm stopping. It's 12 o'clock. I've not eaten out. <sighs> oh. Eat nature. Don't mind if I do. Oh, don't mind if I oh that's floor's wet as fuck. This like steep scree. Oh, still not, still not there. It feels like since I woke up, just been going uphill. Whew. Last push to the top of there. Might have a mouthful of fizzy water. <laughs> 
I've got a like a porridge and a couple of real termite meals, but I don't think I don't fancy like warm fizzy porridge. It's not the one, is it? So I'll have a glug of fizzy water and then we're gonna head down from Scarfell to Wastel Head eventually. And I know there's an ale house there. So hopefully get a bite to eat, fill my waters up, have a rest, and then do what I did yesterday, I think. You just leave the pub, hike for an hour or so, find somewhere to keep. Jobs a donut. Oh, look at this, mate. Hey. There we have the summit of Scarfell Pike, done and dusted. I mean, you'd be pushed to get that to yourself, really. It's a very popular climb. And what I'm thinking, as I'm walking over all this scree, and it's hurting my feet in my trail runners a little bit, I'm thinking, how on earth did I do that barefoot? There's the top. Oh, <sighs> oh my God, I feel a bit emotional. No, no, no. Save it. Save it. Hold. Oh, it's because of having no sleep and that. <sighs> and, you know, do it. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> there you go. Woo! Yes, you mate. Go. I don't know, two can Carmoon's feet or something, don't they? Yeah, just sore, man. Real sore. Yeah. No blood. No blood. Not broke my skin. No the toes are, the toes are breaking up. blisters, but... Look at that. And from bottom. <laughs> That was the last time I was on this mountain. It was uh, I didn't have any socks and shoes on. A wonderful time. <laughs> Couldn't do it again. Right, I'm getting hungry now and thirsty. I could always filter some water and just get on it, but I might just wait. I've got still got a bit of fizzy club, but I celebrated up there with a, a little sip of fizzy water. Yes, reckless, I know. Proper chunky mountain range, this one, like there's some beasts up here. But for me, it's a bit too popular. You know, people come from all over the world to, to climb it, so you never have top to yourself, really. And I think you're better off just climbing ones that are a little bit shorter than it, and just, unless you want to clock Scarfell, then fair enough, but it's not my favorite, I don't think. You're gonna rescue that fella. Where is he? <laughs> he's, he's only he's about five minutes from river. This side? Uh, no, the other side of the river. Yeah, oh. he's not broken anything or sprained out. I I, I, I asked. He says he says he was just tired because oh, right. so he didn't want to fall over again. No, he's, he's just round that corner up there. I can't remember whether I told you about that guy I passed, but I passed a guy and he was just sat outside. I was like, are you all right, mate? I could see that he'd cut his shin. Now it's big, just a little bit of a cut on shin. I says, are you all right, mate? Is it broken or sprained or out? And he was like, no. I started laughing, I was, he's like, no. And I was like, can I do anything? Like, I've got first aid kit and, oh, do you want, uh, um, do you want a, a almond and yoghurt bar, whatever it is I've got? <laughs> Offered him like, some stuff. No, I'm all right. Um, he says, oh no, someone has come past already and phoned Mountain Rescue for me. I was like, all oh, right, must be bad then, eh? And he was like, nah, I'm just tired. He says he's just tired. He's there, look up there, where that Mountain Rescue got. I can't, I'm just tired. I'm tired. But I mean, fair enough, he's tired. 
and he might go ass of a tit again and, and whatever but that's the choice that you know you chose to come up this mountain if you're tired just have a rest then come back down there's one two three one two three four people five four blokes and a woman going up there mountain rescue with all clobber to to carry him down because he's tired i just feel like if you if you haven't got the engine for it don't do it and that's what i'm learning about scarfell pike is lovely it's a beautiful hike and all that but it's too busy there's too many humans i see there's a lot of litter and there's a lot of people like your man there who's just they think it's easy and he just wants a free ride I, like i felt like he just wanted a free ride down like getting carried because if leg ain't broke or straight he just hurt his shin and then said oh i'm tired and i don't want to fall over again get like you know start just, just do a little bit of it <laughs> no point in trying to gun it all the way to the top if you if you haven't got the engine for it so yeah you do need you do you need a bit of fitness if you're going to be doing scarfell pike it's no mean feat <sighs> maybe i'm just being a bit harsh because I'm, I'm hungry i'm hungry and i'm tired <laughs> i, I should have got a lift down i'll sit on i'll sit on top of him on stretcher <laughs> take me to the pub we're nearly there guys we're nearly at bottom at bottom of uh, scarfell nice little counterweight now this <laughs> look at that that is use that is a lot of people use this gate because it's Scarfell Pike in it. It's the Scarfell Pike gate. There's a lot going on. Oh, right. Well, it's a counterweight, but it's like it's like a kissing gate. But oh, it doesn't really need that. It doesn't really need that because that's so uh, that counterweight. I reckon that's capped it, and they've put counterweight on after it's capped it. But look at that, smooth. Smooth as you like. And on there. That's good, that's good. There she blows. The Ale House of Dreams. Please be open, please be open, please be open. Get in. You can say hello to your missus or plug <laughs> anything you want to plug. <laughs> hey, great meeting the man. There you go. There's Knuckles. Knuckles with a camera, it didn't happen. There we are. Sound job, mate, sound job. There we go. Pub in the background, and I'm back off. It's maybe about six o'clock. I had a good feed. Fish and chips and some prawns. It was a whale. Someone bought me a pint. Thanks very much. Did I need it? No. <laughs> was it welcomed? Yes. I was tempted to stay in campsite there, but it is only, I say it was, only about six o'clock, so I would only be twiddling my thumbs, wouldn't I? That's where I'm going. Up there. So it'd be nice to find somewhere in the valley. It seems pretty calm down here, at least. The clouds aren't moving over quick up there so that tells me it's quite mild hey mate why did you cross the road hey up there's one <laughs> there's one such a... come on there's one on top of bench look so you can carry on up there it's more of a gr uh, like a, a gradual route up but <laughs> i'm off up here which is pretty savage. I'll keep going. If I can find somewhere to camp on the way, I will. Because I'm pretty knackered now. I've come back down. I got a couple of hundred meters up. I was looking at my OS map and it didn't look like anywhere flattened out. And I would have had to put a proper shift in to get right up there. And I still don't know if there would be anywhere for me to camp. So I made the executive and lightweight decision to come back down into the valley and do another night in the valleys oh man because it is beautiful and at least i know 
I can get some, oh fuck, oh there's wet foot just before bed, brilliant, absolutely brilliant, bog foot. Over here it's nice and flat and then we can tackle that monster tomorrow. <laughs> is, I've had enough. I've done some elevation today mate and I just want to pitch my tent and chill out and I'll tell you something as well these rocks the beauty of this tent is that it just looks like a rock it's like a graphite colour in it like grey just like a rock shall I go here I think I'm just gonna go here mate it's as good a place as any in it oh yeah this is it this is it I can't even be bothered to do any fancy transitions I'm just broken I'm not just here, that'll do. There we are, look. All set up. Obviously, same setup. No point me showing you through it. Woo. Lovely stuff. What a day. I've had all the weather today thrown at me. Lots of elevation. Oh, look at look at this! Last bit of sun. Look, that beautiful. It's a lovely evening. I couldn't make it to the top of there. I just thought, right, get down here. It's eight o'clock, so I've done enough. Oh, midges are starting to get in, so I best go. Right, join me tomorrow where we take on that unit, Great Gable. And for now, I shall leave you in the capable hands hopefully of future me and everybody's favorite time map time and here we go map time something a bit different on this map time sometimes leaving these old school maps and heading face first into the future of map time i'm going to be testing something new out and it could be the future of map time but i'm going to slowly integrate it and we're going to still keep old school maps because I like the feel of them, I like the look of them and uh, I'm going to still keep the old maps but we're going to integrate it with some new stuff and it's just the future of map time, everybody's favourite time. I woke up here and I set off. Now this is the Cumbria Way which goes up here. Now I didn't go that way, I went left. This was quite savage up here. You can see by the compact contour lines how steep it is it's very steep got to about here and the heavens opened over this stream then I went to have a little look at Angle Tarn because it looked amazing with the rain bouncing off the water on I went up and up <laughs> I took refuge around here put my merino wool layer on had a little sip of fizzy water and then on I went up here this is where I saw that couple who were just I don't know, they're probably still there now to be honest they were pointing up here and they were like, is that, um, is that Scarfell Pike? I was like, no nah, mate, no nah, mate, it's that way, but I don't know. Good luck, best of luck to you. And I went up here, you really do lose the path up here. It's just a lot of stones and boulders, but thankfully people have put cairns so you can sort of make your way through it. And I stopped up here for a little break to take in the scenery. And I went, there are some, look, you can see here again with these contour lines. Steep down and into this little valley and then steep back up again onto the top of Scarfell Pike as usual there's a few people on the top of there but it was really nice to be up there again and I began the big descent down and it was bringing back some lovely memories of the time I did it with my mate Joe on we go around about here this is where I saw that bloke off I went I'd not eaten all day so I was starting to get pretty hungry by this point but coming across here you can start to see the ale house so off i go down into these fields hit the road to this ale house um where i got my food and a pint and if you're watching mate the guy who bought me a pint thanks mate it was much appreciated on i went and then up this valley and i did actually go up here to about here and then realized i wasn't going to get anywhere flat so came back down had a little look around and found the perfect flat pitch and that's where i am on my flat bit of ground ready for tomorrow's ascent up into the clouds right that's it if you're not subscribed already please consider subscribing hit the bell notification to be notified of the next upload Whew. thanks for watching i'll see you soon